Look for the cure. Look for the cure. My sister tell me find the cure. Jihua, each of you is your own. The cure in you. The cure, the cure. My COVID papa. COVID one nine. That's all. That's all, boy. That's all. You must burn it out. African governments are demanding answers from Beijing on the treatment of their citizens after reports of mistreatment of Africans in China caused outrage African students and expatriates in the southern Chinese city of Guangzhou were last week subject to forced coronavirus testing and not for any specific rules or reasons, but based on random choice of 14-day self-quarantine, regardless of recent travel history, amid heightened fears of imported infections. I'm take the test. It's it's going to be a Q-tip, it's going to reach to your throat, so you're going to feel a little bit uncomfortable. Oh, okay? OK? Can you take off your, th uh, your mask? OK. So if, if I want to, it's, it's just, is it just a test? Nothing more involved, yes, right? just a test. Yes. However on Saturday, a member of Kenya's parliament called for all Chinese nationals to leave Kenya with immediate effect. TV stations in Uganda and other news agencies across the continent also ran similar stories it on the election. This is nothing but racism. And it has to be called as racism. Who are just victims like the rest of the world from a virus that emanated from China where now they are practicing racism against Africans. We must speak out. Africans are now not allowed to board buses, trains or go to restaurants or any other public places. I cannot enter. I cannot enter. Nothing but it we are just looking for an excuse to express their racism. That's what it is. They didn't want me to enter the subway. I had even bought my ticket that was for yuan. And by the time I was going to, to the subway, they stopped me. And then they told me that uh, no foreigner is allowed. And I was like, why? This is a subway. They are saying, then they say that that is the rule. Then who am I to argue with the locals? I complied. You know, the people, the, 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 the Chinese people, they call, they, call the, they call the police, some of them. This guy called the police to come and arrest me because I've taken the bus. This guy, he he got he called the police. Or yeah, he called the police that uh, I have taken the bus. Uh, right. So now he telling me that we should go. I don't know what the what the problem is. I took a bus and then uh, they called the police for me because I'm a foreigner. I'm a black man. You see how it's so painful when somebody races against you for what you have you haven't done, you know. You are not. You haven't done anything. I didn't have a place to go. I had to sleep outside. Yes, I did sleep outside. The next day they came. I tried calling them some of they were not actually responding to my call what they told me go to the police i did that after staying at the police station for a maximum of three good hours they told me that we are sorry we cannot help this has sparked an anger on the african continent nigerians mocking chinese joggers on the streets in nigeria amid inhuman treatment of africans in china I have a give me two meters, two meters, I beg, two meters. Social distance, I beg, I beg, I beg. Mona, find the cure, find the cure. Look for the cure. Look for the cure. My sister tell me find the cure. Jinghua, each on yin chang on yang. The cure in yo. The cure, the cure. My COVID papa. COVID one nine. That's all, that's all, boy. Yes, all. You must burn it out. <laughs> also in Ghana, a Ghanaian forced a Chinese to pick up baggage in a gutter after Africans living in China were humiliated. In Nigeria, a Chinese was not allowed to enter a building. Who sent the email? 
It's time to openly remind Chinese authorities to take responsibility of what's happening to Africans in China. The action threatens to undermine China's diplomatic efforts in Africa. In recent years, African nations have become key diplomatic and trade partners to Beijing, with China's trade with Africa worth $208 billion in 2019, according to official figures from China's General Administration of Customs. China must wake up and stop the blame game on Africans.